Greetings, Commanders. So there's more information about the Type 8, and I'm sure everyone on this channel is wondering, how is it gonna handle as an antique Xeno ship? Actually, I'm not sure a lot of people are wondering about that, but I am, and hopefully there's some reflections here that are of more general interest. So first and foremost, the odd configuration of hardpoints of the Type 8, with its uh, five small and one medium, hard points, uh, almost almost entirely skew it towards Gauss as a platform. The reason for that is that as far as more weapons are, the small version of Guardian Gauss is by far, by far superior to pretty much any other weapon available against Fargoids. Primarily owing due to its uh, retained exceptionally high armor piecing value and pretty, pretty good damage that it'll do, which uh, instead fall off dramatically on pretty much every other weapon variant. Uh, furthermore, as far as human weapons are concerned, like multi-cannons and missile racks, those aren't even available except for the advanced version in the small format. So, so Gauss it's going to be. The challenge with that ship is its class 4 power distributor, which means that you're not going to be able to fire a lot of those weapons and it's going to be reliant on utilities and heat sinks in particular to actually give you the power uh, or particularly weapon capacitor which um which will require to fire any reasonable amount of guns for any reasonable amount of time a little known fact is that heat sinks provide two megawatt of weapon capacitor recharge uh for 10 seconds for the 10 seconds that they are active um at the price of a one-time two megajoule charge from the system capacitor when they are fired. None of this is ever explained in the game, by the way, so you either know it or you don't, or you figure it out as you go, or you're like, my system capacitor is depleted. What the hell is going on? Are you firing heat sinks? Ah, didn't know that actually took system capacitor to fire. Which is also why, by the way, if your system capacitor is depleted, you cannot fire heat sinks, which is a very, very bad thing uh, to happen in an Xeno fight. Which is also why, one of the many reasons why shielded builds aren't ideal because they will drain your system capacitor, which means you cannot fire seed things, which means that you die. But that's a tangent, so bear with my tangent. Back to a Type 8. So we said it's a Gauss platform. We said that it's with its class 4 power distributor. Uh, it's going to be limited as far as like how many Gauss uh, it'll be able to fire. The question is, is it going to be able to fire four Gauss and then have one thermal vent beam and use the middle hard point for flak? That's probably how I would try it the first time around. Um, I might actually opt for uh, experimental weapon stabilizer class 3 and see if I go with 5 Gauss and see how that plays out. Uh, my hunch is, unless it comes with a disproportionate number of utilities like 8 or 6, uh, I don't really see that as being very viable. If it comes with 4 utilities, which is kind of standard for these kind of ships, then then with only four utilities, probably not going to be putting five small gauss on this ship. I'm probably going to be putting only four. However, people like Jenkins have taken down a Hydra with a Type 7, and it's four uh, small hard points. And we've taken down a Hydra even with three small hard points, at least on a couple of occasions. One myself in an Eagle, and one with a couple of friends in free haulers. In both cases, we use Primo ammo, but it is possible to do also on basic ammo just with four small gauss. It's not easy, but it's possible. Um, so that's generally how I try. The internals are excellent. Um, there's space to add just about anything that you want in there. You can even put a universal input controller on a class seven and have just about the pick of a litter of what you want to be using that for. Or you could put a class seven repair input controller and have amazing repair capacity on the ship. Um, plus also an incredible tank to go with it, considering all the how reinforcement packages that you can put in the class six and class five slots. So I think it's gonna be a really strong hull tank, uh, which may or may not be particularly maneuverable, but then we've done solo fights with worse ships than that, what that is probably going to be. That is likely going to fight with four small Gauss cannons, which is not a lot, but it's enough to do some pretty cool things uh, with it still, and it's gonna suffer primarily due to its very, very small power distributor, which means it can't really boost orbit in a sustained basis. You just don't have the 
engine capacitor recharged for that to be viable as an option. And you're going to be reliant on one or more heat sinks to sustain fire of those four small Gauss cannons. That being said, we'll see when it comes out. Uh, we'll take it for a spin and we'll let you know how it's, uh, it's looking. With that, glory to mankind, Commander Mekin, over and out.